learning outcomes. At the end of this chapter, you should be able to explain about memory management and virtual memory. Identify virtual memory management. Introduction. Memory concept. Memory is central to the operation of modern computer system. The memory system includes all part of the computer that store information. It can be divided into two parts which are primary memory, which hold information while it is being used by the CPU. It referred one byte at a time. This primary memory is volatile memory system that is stored temporarily and lost its data or information when it turns at the PC. Secondary memory can be collection of storage devices which are reference as blocks of byte. This secondary memory is non-volatile memory system whereby it stored data and information permanently. Computer memory hierarchy. A ranking of computer memory devices, with devices having the fastest access time at the top to bottom of the hierarchy, and devices with slower access times but larger capacity and lower cost at lower levels. Register is the highest ranking because it has very fast in accessing time. However, the cost of the register is very expensive. However, the tape backup have large size in capacity with the slowest accessing time. Type of memory. There are two types of memory. Non-volatile memory, which stored data or information permanently even after the power failure. Example, ROM, EPROM, EEPROM. Flash ROM and RAM. Volatile memory, which stored data or information temporarily and lost it during the power offs. Example, RAM, DRAM and SRAM. In a uni programming environment, the main memory divided into two parts, which are operating system and user program area. In multi programming environment, multiple processes or job in physical memory at the same time. It allows fast switching to ready process. Divide physical memory into multiple pieces which is known as partitioning. Memory management. Generally, it is a task carried out by the OS and hardware to accommodate multiple processes in main memory. If only a few processes can be kept in main memory, then much of the time all processes will be waiting for input-output and the CPU will be idle. Hence, memory needs to be allocated efficiently in order to pack as many processes into memory as possible. The memory manager's responsibilities are Allocating primary memory to processes Assisting the programmer in loading and storing the contents of the primary memory Keep track of which processes are running in which memory locations and also determine how to allocate and deallocate available memory when new processes are created and when old processes complete execution. In modern memory managers, the process will automatically being transfer back and forth between the primary and secondary memories using virtual technology. However there are some challenges in managing the memory which are include to keep programs and info in primary only while they are being used by the CPU. To restore the info to secondary soon after it has been created or used. Basic hardware memory. Basically each process that has been loaded into separate memory space. It provide two register. Base register. Starting address for the process. Bounds, limit, register. Store the size of the range. This also is used to determine the ending address of the process. Based and limit register will be loaded by the OS via special privileged instruction. These privileged instruction will be executed only in kernel mode because the OS running on kernel mode. For example, the given base register is 300,040 and limit register is 120,900 therefore when it mapped into physical memory by adding the based and limit register to become 420,940 as per shown on images. This mapping is being con. Logical versus physical address. In computer system there are two types of addresses. Logical address address generated by CPU. It is known as virtual address. Physical address. Address seen by memory unit. 
it be loaded by memory register. Compile time and load time address binding generates identical of logical and physical addresses. Execution time address is binding result in differing logical and physical addresses. In runtime mapping from virtual to physical addresses is done by hardware that known as memory management unit, MMU. In MMU relocation register is known as based register. The value is added to every address that generated by a user process at the time the address is sent to memory. How process is loaded into memory. Other techniques that can be used for loading the process into memory are swapping techniques whereby the process must be executed in memory. If they had interrupt or input output request then they will be swapped temporarily out of memory to backing store. Upon completion is finished the swapped process then brought back into memory for continued execution. Overlays used dynamic loading techniques which needed when process is larger than amount of memory allocated to it. Only those instructions and data that are needed at any given time will be loaded into memory. This method no special from OS which of complex overlays structured programming design. How process is loaded into memory. Now we move on to how the process is loaded into memory. It have several techniques which are include. Dynamic loading. This technique has better memory space utilization which routine or program is not loaded until it is called. This method is useful for large amount of code are needed to handle infrequently occurring cases for example, error routines. Besides that, this method not required special support from OS because it is can be implemented through program design. The second method. Dynamic linking and shared libraries. This method the linking libraries is postponed until execution time. Whereby it usually used with system libraries such as language subroutine libraries. The stub small area of code is used to indicate how to locate the appropriate memory resident library or how to load the library if the routine is not present. This is also included in the image library routine. Memory partitioning. Memory allocation is divided memory into a fixed sized block or partition. If partition free, process will be selected from input queue into free partition. OS keeps table indicating parts of memory available and which parts are occupied. The available partition is known as a hole. If holes too large, the partition will split and will be allocated to the arriving process. The other partition will return to set of holes. Holes also can be merged. The sets of hole in memory can be placed using placement algorithm. There are three types of placement algorithm. First fit. Decreasing time. Allocate the first hole that is big enough. Start scanning from beginning and choose first available block that is large enough may have many process loaded in the front end of memory that must be scanned. Best fit. Storage utilization. Allocate the smallest hole that is big enough. Choose the free block that is the closest in size to the request results in minimally sized fragments requiring compaction. Worst fit. Scan memory from the location of the last allocation and chooses the next available block that is large enough more often allocate a block of memory at the end of memory where the largest block is found compaction is required to obtain a large block at the end of memory. This approach statistically lessens the scan time. First fit and best fit better than worst fit in terms of speed and storage utilization. Fragmentation. External fragmentation. Total memory space exists to satisfy a request, but it is not contiguous. Internal fragmentation. Allocated memory may be slightly larger than requested memory, this size difference is memory internal to a partition, but not being used. Reduce external fragmentation by compaction. Shuffle memory contents to place all free memory together in one large block. Compaction is possible only if relocation is dynamic, and is done at execution time. Input-output problem. Latch job in memory while it is involved in input-output. Do input-output only into OS buffers. Based on the diagram that shown. Internal fragmentation. 
The process P5 is unable to be loaded into memory because that has occurred internal fragmentation between process 4 and process 3. By using same diagram of memory block. Assume this memory block is using dynamic partition. The external fragmentation has occurred below the process 4 and process 3. Since the process 5 is not enough space therefore the compaction technique is used for both external fragmentation that fit enough for the process 5. Paging. Paging is one of the solutions for external fragmentations. Memory management scheme permits the physical address space of a process to be non-contiguous. Each process has its own page table. Each page table entry contains the frame number of the corresponding page in main memory page in frame size defined by hardware between 512 bytes minus 16 megabytes per page. Partition memory into small equal size chunks that known as frames. Each process has been divided into same size chunks which is called as pages. The operating system has responsible in maintaining a page table for each process. In the page table has contained the frame location for each process page whereby the memory address is additional of page number with offset. In the diagram shows that each program has its collections of pages. All the pages will be loaded into memory as the frame. The total number of pages can exceed the number of frames, physical memory. The diagram shows a simple page table translation whereby pages from the logical space will put into page table. In the page table all the pages will mapped with the frame number in the physical memory. For example in the diagram, show the page 0 in page table is being mapped into frame number 3 which means that the page 0 is being located at frame no 3 in the physical memory space. Virtual memory. The most common parts in modern operating system implementation is virtual memory. What is virtual memory? It is technique that allow the execution of processes that are not completely in physical memory. Allows separation of user logical memory from physical memory. By using this technique, free programmer from the concerns of memory storage limitations. But, it is not easy to implement because it may substantially decrease the performance if it used carelessly. Demand paging. Virtual memory can be implemented either using demand paging and demand segmentation. The demand paging allow to bring a page into memory only when it is needed or demanded during program execution. Pages that are never accessed will never loaded into physical memory. It is similar with the paging system with swapping. The process will reside in the secondary memory, usually disk. Lazy swapper. Never swaps a page into memory unless page will be needed when. Swapper that deals with pages is a pager. Because the process is being viewed as sequence of pages. Swapper manipulate the entire process but pager concerned on individual pages. In demand paging. If the pages of program A are not needed for execution anymore then the pages of program A will be swapped out from memory to contiguous disk space. If the sum of pages of the program B are required during execution dot then it will be swapped in pages of program B in the physical memory. Page fault. What happens if the page that demand by the process is not in the memory? Since each process has its own page table therefore the page fault is occurred. How the operating system do that? Due to that, a bit a bit is needed to indicate whether the page is in main memory or not is known as valid invalid bit. As from the diagram that shown. The page A in the frame have valid bit since the pages is already in physical memory. Otherwise, the invalid bit is shown at page table. Page fault handling. If the page fault is occurred, then how we handling this page fault trap? It can be done through page fault handling which required several step. Check the page table for the process. Invalid, terminate the process. Valid, page in. Find a free frame. Schedule a disk operation to read the desired page into the newly allocated frame. Disk read is complete which the OS will modifying the page table to indicate that the page is now in memory then restart the instruction. 
The page fault occurred initially in starting program or application. Sometimes, it can be called as pure demand paging which no page in memory. It never bring a page into memory until it is required. Page replacement. Page replacement is basic to demand paging whereby it's occurred when the desired page residing on the disk but there are no free frame in the physical memory. It provides large virtual memory on smaller physical memory. It provides large virtual memory on smaller physical memory. Page replacement doubles the page fault time. The solution is to use a modify bit. The modify bit is indicating the page has been modified or not. The bit is set when page has been modified. During this time page is writing to the disk. Otherwise the bit is not set when the page has not been modified. The page is discarded which will reduce the page fault service time. When the page fault occurred, they will find the location of the desired page on disk, then find a free frame if there is a free frame, use it. But what happen if there is no free frame? Use a page replacement algorithm to select a victim frame and swapped out to backing store bring the desired page into the, newly, free frame which invalid bit, then update the page and frame tables swap the desired page into memory using page replacement algorithm reset the page table for new page. Thrashing. What is thrashing? A process is busy swapping pages in and out, very high paging activity more time doing paging than executing. Why it has been occurred? Trashing is happen when there are high paging activities. The processor spends most of its time swapping pages rather than executing user instructions. The system find itself spend more time paging than executing. It can seriously degrade system performance. How to solve these issues? Give enough number of pages to each process based on working set. Use locality model state that as process executes whereby. The process migrates from one locality to another locality. A locality is a set of pages that actively use together. A program is composed of several different localities, which may overlap. In the graph has shown that low CPU utilization due to increase in I, O for page replacement. The operating system, CPU scheduler, misinterpret, thinks, that it needs to increase the degree of multiprogramming to improve CPU utilization another process added to the system, page fault rate become higher, and CPU utilization drop further and system throughput plunges. Principle of locality. What is principle of locality? Programs tend to reuse data and instructions near those they have used recently, or that were recently referenced themselves. There are two types of locality. Temporal locality. Recently referenced items are likely to be referenced in the near future. Spatial locality. Items with nearby addresses tend to be referenced close together in time. In this principle we can predict what instructions and data that being used by the program in the near future based on it accesses in the recent past. Virtual memory requirement. Therefore what is the requirement of virtual memory? The virtual requirement involved colon. Use demand paging or demand segmentation techniques. Allocate some hard disk space as swap or virtual memory space, extension for physical RAM. Must provide mechanism to prevent trashing by allocating enough pages to each process, implement page replacement scheme, algorithm. Page fault service routines must be provided by the OS to support the occurrence of page faults. Summary. Operating system is plays important role in managing memory for multi-programmed system. It can be implemented using various memory management algorithms. In modern operating system, it is desirable to be able to execute a process whose logical address space is larger than available address space using virtual memory technique.